good night. Hello? I uh, just wanted to hear your voice. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, I like that one. What's mine? I kind of love- Oh, I'll call you back. Hello, how you doing? Welcome back. Today I want to show you just how to make a deadite look from the Evil Dead movies. Why? I was looking through my closet and I found this. It's my chainsaw I painted a while back for a Halloween costume. <laughs> All we're gonna need is a water activated makeup palette, some paint brushes, and some creativity. I've been wanting to add contact lenses to a look for a while. I realized I only have the red ones. They should work for the look, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those put on. So unfortunately, my red contact lenses are completely dry, but I guess thankfully I found these white out contacts. I do have the second one. However, if I put it on, I will be completely blind. Like right now, I'm blind from this eye. I don't see my hand. Oh, okay, I see it now. So I guess I'll improvise. I'm gonna just wing it, <laughs> like always. So let's get started. I'm gonna get some pale foundation just to get myself pale. I don't know how it'll look if I go down onto the beard. Since my beard isn't too thick, I can just go over it and it doesn't really look bad. But for all you boys and girls, if you have a thick beard, I don't know, try it out. See how it works for you. I so pale. Dang, I'd look good with the other contact lens, but I would be completely blind. Let's see what color shall we use. Because the original look that I was going to go for is like the main deadite from Evil Dead 2013. So I'm going to mix some green with brown, a little bit of red, maybe purple. I don't know, I'm just trying to get a gross color going. Ooh, some yellow would look good. If you're wondering why I'm winking, it's because it's throwing me off. I just see white from the one eye. All right, so I got a nasty weird color going So let's start with that. Ooh, Okay, looks cool. I'm gonna use my fingers because I don't want this to look perfect Kind of want it everywhere I wonder if you could even see this on camera. Can you? I don't even know. Let's just hope it does. Next we're gonna get a little red just right on your eyelid. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I do red on the eyelids to show that you're tired, sick, not feeling great. It always looks awesome. Look, there we go. Easy peasy. Now we're going to get some more red, some purple, and a little bit of black. Oh, I got too much black, but it's fine. Now we're going to go under eyes right here. Splash it around. Oh, I got too much. That is too much. Over our eyes can work too. Keep it looking somewhat realistic. Ah, oh, I got too much. Does it look all right? Looks all right. I want to emphasize some angry brows, you know? Because why not? Since we got this color going, let's go ahead and make some cheekbones, because why not? I just look tired. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know what else to do with this. Let's do some darker lips. Get some purple and black. Or like really dark purple. But let's just keep everything imperfect. I added some red in there. Maybe some veins? Blue? I'll be honest, I'm not loving this. Maybe more red will fix this. Honestly, I failed. <laughs> I mean, it looks good, but it's not what I wanted to go for. Really, what screwed me up was the contact lenses. This just reminds me, always be prepared. I mean, if you want to do a simple little zombie look, just do this. It's easy peasy. Got it down in about 15 minutes. Um, I might just stop now and continue another day. Don't worry, I'll brainstorm some ideas. I'm not just going to give up on this. See you later.